and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our fishtail banner borders. We're also going to be introducing our stripes and sprinkles paper, but let's take a look at the fishtail banner borders first. So there's a curved border and a straight border in this really cute fishtail design. And then we have all these little banners that you can add over top to help decorate it. And I love the ones with the hearts and stars. So here is a little look at what it looks like when you layer those banners over top. So you could die cut the banners from pattern paper and just use them plain like that or even a beautiful color of cardstock or you can layer these little banners over top. Once again, pattern paper, colored cardstock, something you inked with some inks or markers and create a really cool custom look. So here's what a little alternating banner looks like in the straight style. And then now we're gonna work with the curved style and we're adding the ones with the stars and the hearts, which are my personal favorites. I think they are just so adorable and sweet. And the cards with these just turn out so cute. It's fun as the star of the show and as just a little decoration. And we're gonna be showing you ideas with both of these in this video. Now, next up, we're gonna take a look at the stripes and sprinkles paper. And here is that collection. So we have it in both six by six and 12 by 12 sizes. It has these amazing stripes and these fun little sprinkled dots that are just adorable as skies and backgrounds or fun ways to add a fun pop of happy color to your cards. And so first up, we're gonna take a look at the 12 by 12 paper. In the collection pack, you get two of each design for a total of 12 designs. You can also buy an individual design in a pack of 12. And this is really great if you're mass producing cards or creating invitations or something like that. And here you can see this beautiful rainbow of color. I just love these so much. And here is a look at each individual paper. This is the pink pow paper that has the fun stripes and then the sprinkled dots on the back. Then next we have Oh My Orange, which is just a fun, happy color I love so much. After that we have Yay Yellow, and this is just the happiest yellow. It's just so much fun and so pretty. Next up we have Terrific Teal, and this is my go-to for skies. I like both the stripes and the dots of skies, and I just keep using up all of this paper. I love having the big 12 by 12 pack of this because I'm using it on every single card. It's so pretty. This is Blue Blast, which is also just such a beautiful blue. And then, of course, we have the great little dots on the back. And then last but not least, we have Vivacious Violet. And this purple is just so pretty. And then here is a look at all of those colors and designs all together. And this palette is just perfect for spring and will take you into summer as well because it's just so bright and happy. Here is the six by six pad, and I love this pad so much because it has 36 sheets, which means there are three of each design, which means you don't have to hoard your papers because you have a lot of each of the colors. And all of these papers have been reduced by about 50%, so it gives you a smaller scale as well. So sometimes I like using the 12 by 12 scale, and sometimes I like using the six by six, just kind of depending on my project. And so here you can see all of those designs repeating. You'll have three of each of them in this pack. And then here's a comparison between the six by six and the 12 by 12. And oh my goodness, I love having these two different scales. It just kind of depends on what I'm looking for. And then here's a look at the comparison of the dot side. And next up, Shari is gonna be creating the cutest card where these banners are gonna be the star of the show. And she's gonna bring in a cute little critter in the best way. So take it away, Shari. So I'm using the new fishtail banner borders for my card today, and I'm going to be cutting five of these from a piece of white cardstock. So here I've cut those five banner pieces, and these are going to go all over my card from the top to the bottom. Now for the little banners themselves, I'm going to cut some solid ones, as well as some with the little heart detail and the little star detail from all of the colors of the Stripes and Sprinkles Petite Paper Pack. So I cut all six colors of stripes and all six colors of the sprinkles. And here they are. Now I am remaking a card I made for the trade show. So I already had a bunch of these already cut and then I just added some more to it. I'm making a mini slimline card today. And so I've used the largest of the mini slimline stackables to cut a piece of craft card stock. And this is going to be the front of my card. And then now I'm just taking those banners that I cut from white and laying them out kind of where I want them to go. And as you can see, I am going to be trimming these off quite significantly on each side. 
And once I figure out sort of their spacing, I'm just gonna leave them laying there and then I'm gonna work my way back up the page by putting some little dots of glue on the back of the banners and gluing them down in place. And once I get all of these glued down, I will take my long scissors and just trim off both sides right up the edge of that rectangle. Now I can start to add my little colored banners to the base pieces here. And I just have, like I said, a whole bunch cut out of all the colors of all the stripes and the dots. In my original card, I made one row all stripes, one row all dots. But on this one, I decided to kind of mix it up and have stripes and dots on the same one, but make sure that I varied the colors. So you're gonna see on this one here, I'm gonna pick up a stripe one and add it beside the blue dot one. And I think that has a really fun look, especially considering all of those colors match perfectly. Now you do want to make sure that the dots of glue that you put on these little banners, if you're putting one of the ones that has the heart or the star cut out, that you don't put the dot right in the center because that's where the opening for the star or the heart is. I am trying to make sure that the ones that have the details of the star or heart fall in a place where hopefully they do not get covered up by my sentiment that I'm going to add. And now that I have all of those added to the strings, I can just trim off the little pieces that overhang the edge. Or you could leave them, I think that would be a cute look as well. So I've cleaned up all my edges here, and I'll just throw all those little pieces away. And here is that card front. Now for my sentiment, I'm going to do some white heat embossing on some narwhal cardstock. And this is just a scrap piece that I have in my scrap bin. The fact that it has stitching around it doesn't mean anything. It just came out of a four square um, frame that I had cut. And I keep these pieces for times like this when I'm going to stamp some small sentiments or cut some small items. And I'm using thanks so much from the Offset Sayings Everyday Stamp Set, but I am selectively inking it so that these end up on two separate lines. So I started out with the thanks and I only inked up the word thanks. I added my white embossing powder and then I heat set that so it's all melted and nice and white. Then I cleaned off the word thanks and now I'm inking up so much and I'm going to stamp that a little bit further down because I'm going to be cutting these apart into some little just rectangular banners so the stitching is going to get cut off. It doesn't even matter. So I'm heating that up with my heat tool after I've added my white embossing powder and I have that nice bright white sentiment. Now I'll just use my paper trimmer to trim off that stitching detail and trim these into little banner strips. And I'll also trim off the stitching detail that's left on each end. You could leave it, it's kind of a nice cute look, but I am going to trim it off so that each of these are sized to go with the word that is stamped on them. So now that I have my little word Fetty banners, I can put my card front onto a card base. This is a three inch by six inch top folding mini slimline card base. I've created this from a piece of 12 by 12 card stock. And then I'm going to add some foam squares to the back of my little sentiment banners and just pop those right on top of my banners. And I'm going to try and place them so they don't cover up the banners too much and they fall more in that sort of empty area between them. And now I'm going to pull out the Fly High stamp set. I colored and cut out a bunch of that little mouse that goes into the hot air balloon. And he is so cute hanging over the banners. Like he's just hanging out on the banners. So I've got four of those that I'm putting over the banners. And then the fourth guy, he is going to be peeking out from underneath the sentiment, which I just think is super fun. 
And then finally, I want a little bit of shimmer on there. So I have these really small iridescent sequins and you can see I've put some dots of glue in places where I want them and then I'm picking them up and just dropping them in place. These are all the same size, so I didn't feel the need to kind of figure out their placement before putting my dots. And I'm gonna add one more right there in that sort of empty space I had left over. So this glue will dry clear and then you'll just have these little iridescent sequins left. And then here is my finished card. I just love these new banners and that pattern paper. And then those cute little mice just make this so much fun. Oh my goodness, Shari. I love this card so much. The papers make it so happy and the little critters on the banners. Oh, I love it so much. And I love that you could use so many different sentiments with this design too. Next up, we're going to create a card that uses this banner more as a decoration instead of being the star of the show. And we're actually going to start off by doing some hot foiling of a sentiment using the big scripty words hot foil plates. So there is a happy and a birthday in this set. So we're going to actually tape these together with some low tack tape just to hold them in place. And then we're going to go ahead and put it on to the hot foiling glimmer machine. Once we have those on there, we're going to press the timer button and that light is going to flash and it's going to go for about a minute. We're going to fast forward that part. Once it's solid, then we're ready to start foiling. So this is some really pretty gold glittery foil. We're going to put that face down on those words and then I'm just going to take a large piece of cardstock. We're going to layer that right on top of the hot foil. Then we'll put the two plates that come with the glimmer machine over top. We'll pop this whole platform off. We're going to run it through a die cut machine off camera. And then now we have the big reveal of that gorgeous hot foiled sentiment that's just so pretty. Next up, we're going to take a scalloped rectangle die and we're going to die cut it. And I like doing this better because I don't have to worry about lining up my hot foil. I can just use it on a larger piece of paper and then die cut it after. But you could have die cut your scallop rectangle first and then hot foiled. It's just really up to you. Now that we have our sentiment hot foiled, we're going to start working on our fishtail border banner here. And so we're cutting that out of some gold metallic cardstock to go along with our gold foiling. And we're also going to be using the adorable little banners that have the heart shape cut out of it. And we're going to die cut a rainbow of the little sprinkle patterns from the Stripes and Sprinkles collection. And you can see as you layer the heart shaped banner there over top, you get this super cute look where you have the gold cardstock peeking through. And I think I think this is just so sweet. And right now we are recreating a beautiful card by Grace. So thank you so much, Grace. We'll add one last banner on there and now our little banner's all done and we can set that aside and start to work on a cupcake. And for that, we're gonna be using some of this brand new pastel pearlescent vellum. And this pearlescent vellum is actually a limited edition and it is absolutely gorgeous. It has this beautiful pearlescent shine onto the vellum and it has these great pastels colors with it. And it adds just the most beautiful look. I think this stuff is just so pretty. Oh, I love it. Look how gorgeous. And it's just perfect for spring. It just brings that like spring bring happiness to a card. And so we're going to be using the blue toned pearlescent vellum piece to die cut the wrapper for our cupcake. And so we're going to be using the stitched cupcake die to do that. And here you can see that paper die cut and you can see just how special it is. It's just so pretty. It just feels magical. And now we're going to take out some more of that stripes and sprinkles paper and we're going to be die cutting the top of the cupcake for that. Um, and you'll see just how cute it is with the pattern paper and then the pearlescent vellum. Then for our candle, we're going to take out some pixie dust cardstock and also that gold metallic cardstock that we used on the banner. And that way everything is going to kind of coordinate and everything's just going to have a little bit of sparkle and shine on it. So there is that panel that we added the hot foiled sentiment to earlier. We're going to add some foam squares to the back of that. And then we're going to layer that on some more stripes and sprinkles paper. And this is that terrific teal color that is just so pretty. Then we can start assembling our card. And the first step is to add the banner to the top. And so just like in Shari's card where she used the banner all over the card, which is such a cute look, I love that this is just like a sweet little decoration at the top of a scene. And I'll show you some cards by the design team that use this banner in the two different ways. So once that's on there, then we can just go ahead and trim off the excess. It's going to look like that banner was just tied right to the top of that cardstock. And then we can start adding the cupcake to the card. So we're going to layer all of these stitch cupcake pieces together. 
First, we can layer that pixie dust little detail on the top of the candle, and then we can add the top of the cupcake to the pearlescent vellum wrapper, and we'll add some foam squares behind that, and then we're gonna layer that right over top of the happy birthday words. Then to give the cupcake the look of frosting, we're using some sparkle glaze, and we're just gonna add it to the little bit of the top of the cupcake. I just think this is such a cute look. It adds to the sparkle, shiny, beautiful look that we're going for this card, and this sparkle glaze can actually function as a glue. So we're just going to take that candle. We're going to add, of course, a little sparkle glaze to the flame of the candle. And then we can just put that candle right into the sparkle glaze. It'll adhere it and hold it in place. And it's just such a cute and sweet look with all of that sparkle on there. Now, the little heart-shaped banners, they cut out little tiny hearts, and so we're actually going to use those. We save those as we die cut them, and these are going to become the confetti on the card. And we've found that the easiest way to adhere these is to use a quickie glue pen. It just adds the teeniest amount of glue, which is the perfect amount of glue to hold something teeny tiny like little paper die cut hearts. And look how sweet these are. And what's great about this is we're using something that we already created with our banner die, so it's going to coordinate beautifully. And I I think it's just the perfect little touch. And now I want to add the hearts and stars from these banners to every card I make. I think this is just so sweet and just a wonderful idea by Grace. Now this card is actually a little bit bigger than a standard size card, and that's okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna measure the card and create a custom size card base. And so here is our front panel that's going to be the same exact size as the card. And on this one, what we've done is we've added an inch of cardstock up to the top. Then to create the card base, all you need to do is just score an inch down from the top, just like that. We're gonna use the bone folder and a scoring tool here. And then you can fold on that score line and reinforce that. And then all you need to do is add some adhesive right onto that piece that you fold it over. Then you can layer the panel that's the same size as your custom size card. And this helps you create a card base for a larger size card. This card was so big that a standard size paper wouldn't have worked to fold it in half. So this is a really easy way to create a cool custom size that's just a little bit bigger that I think is a really, really fun thing to do. Now we can layer our panel over top and this card is all done and it's so sweet and cute. I love the hot foiled sentiment on it. I love the gold metallic cardstock behind the banner and those little hearts around the cupcake just make the whole thing feel so special. And next up we have some incredible cards by the design team and first up is that super cute card that Shari created earlier in the video. And then we have the Cards by Grace that inspired us to create ours. And you can see that she also created a shaker version where she used the straight banner at the top and she kind of split up her happy birthday words. So there's a lot of cute ways to play around with a design like this that I think is so sweet. And that little banner at the top just adds the perfect detail. Now next up, Elise really wanted to make the banners the star of the show, and look how cute this is. The other cool thing that Elise did is she just die cut the banner out of the pattern paper. She didn't layer the little banners over top, and they look incredible that way. This is such a cute card, and you could definitely mass produce a ton of these to have some on hand. I love how Elena used the banners. She cut them from a more neutral color of cardstock and had them really be in the background to her adorable flower decorated balloons. And I love this look. It makes it feel like a party, but I love that the banners are a little bit more subtle. Here is a beautiful Easter card by Yanea that makes the stripes and sprinkles paper the star of the show. She used our simple stripes die to create such a beautiful card using the pattern papers. Audrey shows us that these banners are the cutest way to decorate a fun, festive critter scene. I love them there up in the background with the cute little mice. It's so sweet. And then here, this card by Callie is amazing. I love how she added these beautiful rainbow banners over top of her shaker window. It's such a cool look. Lynette created the most gorgeous clean and simple cards. I love her use of white space and how she layered the banners onto her cards. She has a portrait and landscape version and I love how they're meeting in the center and I can't wait to try that on my designs too. Here, Melissa created the most adorable mini album using the stripes and sprinkles paper, also combining it with some fun rainbow designs. And she added in both the awesome original bunting banners and the new fishtail banner borders. And I think it's just so sweet and such a fun way to highlight her photos. Letitia's So Very Mice design is so sweet and I love how she layered the banners in cardstock and pattern paper at the top of her scene. And here Kara blew me away. She actually used our awesome washi tape to decorate each one of those banners and those sweet little bunnies in the banners just make me smile. 
So we cannot wait to see what you do with this brand new paper collection and then this amazing new fishtail banner borders. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and we hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye. Thank you.